This tip is for project managers, meeting facilitators, and anyone who takes an active part in recurring meetings. I try to be proactive in all areas of my work and like to plan things ahead. And I'm a big fan of organizing information so that I can retrieve them in the right moment, in the right context, with the least amount of friction. Before I started using digital tools to manage my productivity, I used to use Merlin Mann's 43 folder system. This was a version of the Tickler file system that David Allen uses in his famous GTD method. It basically organizes time-sensitive documents and notes according to the future date on which the document needs action. This could be things like pending bills, contract renewals, maintenance reminders, things like that. So in the 43 folder system, I'd have 12 folders, one for each month of the year. And for the current month, I'd have a folder for each day. So 31 days in a month plus 12 months equals 43 folders, hence the name. So if I had a file or a document that was due on a specific date, like this benefits enrollment form, I would place it in the folder that is for at least two days before the deadline. I would do this for things like coupons that were expiring and simple post-it for maintenance reminders like needing to replace the HVAC filter. So the idea is every day I would open the current day's folder and pull out all of the documents and notes. These would be relevant for action that day. And at the end of the day, I'd move this folder to the back so that the next day's folder is up front and ready to be accessed tomorrow. So this sort of organization has stuck with me and followed me into the digital age. And I use a version of this Tickler file system for my recurring meetings. So let me show you how I do this in OneNote. The first thing that I do is choose a template that I want to use for all my meeting note pages. So I'll head over to the Insert tab, go to Page Templates, choose Page Templates again. And rather than selecting a template from this top section, I'm going to go down and choose a default template that I can apply to all the pages in this section. So I'll hit the drop down. And this is a template that I had created before. I'm just going to select it. And this way, any new pages that I create in this section will get this template applied. By the way, if you want to learn more about using templates in OneNote, I have a video about that, so you can check that out after watching this one. So for weekly meetings, I usually set up a note page in my OneNote, extended out at least six months to a year. Uh, let me actually close the templates section and delete these two note pages. Okay, so as I set up a new note page for each week of the meeting, if you were to do this manually, it could be kind of tedious. So for example, let's say this is for a meeting on the 24th, and then I have to come in here, set up a new page, and say this meeting is for October 31st, and then again, go to add page, and this one is for November 7th, so on and so forth. So if I were to do this for meetings extending out next six, to, six months to a year, it would take a long time to do. So what I do instead is to leverage Microsoft Excel's autofill feature. So I'll open up Excel. And you really just need to establish a pattern by typing in three dates. So for example, October 24th, then October 31st, then November 7th. These are all three, I mean, seven days apart, a week apart. So if I were to select the three cells and use a corner handle to drag it all the way down, you can see that it's recognizing the patterns. So let's say I'm going to end the meeting on May 29th of 2023. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, then go back to OneNote, and I'll delete all these pages here, okay, on a fresh page, and I'll delete the agenda. I'm just going to paste in. I don't want to paste in the table. I just want to keep the text only. So I'm going to choose this option, and I'll have all of the dates for the meeting note pages that I want to set up. I will highlight them all, right mouse click, and choose link to pages, okay? Now you see all of the note pages have been set up. And because we chose the default template for any new pages that get created in this section, they're all applied. Okay. 
you see a duplicate here because we actually manually created one of these no pages. I'm going to go ahead and um, rename it because I don't want to get rid of this. I'll just keep this front page. Doesn't matter what you name it. But the point is now we have all these no pages automatically set up with the templates that we can use going forward. Now that I have my no pages for future meetings all set up, as I ingest information from various sources like email and capture outputs from different meetings, I can start to drop in the relevant actions in the appropriate note pages. So let's say I receive an email that says we need to send our business requirements to our vendor partner by the end of November. I'm going to drop in a reminder or a tickler in the agenda for the meeting two weeks before the deadline so I can check in with the team on our readiness. So for example, if it's end of November, I'm going to go come into November 14th and I will type in issue business requirements to our vendor. And then in another meeting, our finance rep indicates that the budget for the project needs to be submitted before the middle of December. So I drop that note in the agenda for the first week of December to check in on the status. This way, as the future meetings come up and I open up the agenda, I'm being reminded on all of the time sensitive action items that we need to check in on and discuss. As a project manager and a meeting facilitator, I don't need to try to build the agenda at the last minute, soliciting from the team what they want to discuss. Although urgent topics often do come up at the last minute, and we certainly need to account for these, the vast majority of the meeting topics are organically built in advance based on what's important and relevant at the appropriate time. So this sort of tickler system obviously has applications beyond simply managing agendas for recurring meetings. If you have other ideas on how you can apply this sort of system using OneNote, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Well, I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. See you in the next video.